Merry Christmas, everyone. It isn't Christmas yet, though, is it? Not yet. Not yet. But tonight, Christmas is coming very soon. I'm so glad you could come and be with us and so we could all be together on Christmas Eve, which never happens. We're always far all around the world, traveling, being in different places, and we never all get to be together. So this is a very special moment when we actually get to be with each other right here. Now I'm coming to you from my house and I bet you're in your house or maybe a family member's house too. I hope you're all cozy and getting excited for Christmas to come soon. Now, how do we always get started with our chapel services? That's right, we always sing a special song about this day and it's called, This is the Day. Now, usually when we sing that song, it's because it's a Sunday and every Sunday we celebrate that Jesus rose again to be with us forever. We celebrate that God's love was bigger than anything that people could do. Now, this day isn't a Sunday, is it? Nope. But I was wondering if we could sing, this is the day anyway. We sing, this is the day that the Lord has made. And Christmas day, is especially a day that God has made for us all. Because on this day, God decided to come into our world and be with us in the person of Jesus. It's a very exciting day. Definitely one that the Lord has made. So will you sing with me, this is the day together? Here we go. One, two, three. This is the day this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for following along. I am so excited to get to come to you on Christmas Eve. Now, does anyone see the candles I have behind me? How many of them are lit? Can you see it? Four, that's right. One for every Sunday of the season that we're still in, which is Advent. Advent means the coming of Jesus into the world. And it takes us four whole Sundays to get ready. But tonight is the night when Jesus is coming. And so tonight, we light another candle. We light the candle in the middle. Not everyone has a candle, but you can find, this is my children's chapel candle. And I wanna put it right in the middle. And that means that Christmas is coming. It's coming very soon. I'm gonna put this candle right in the middle because Christmas is almost here. But before Christmas can come, we need to remember the Christmas story. And many of you have been so helpful in making a pageant that we have already recorded for you to all enjoy. Now, some of you got to be a part of the pageant because you've been part of our Sunday morning Zoom sessions at 9.30 a.m. But even if you weren't a part of it, I need your help. All of your friends have come together to put the story of Christmas here for you right on Christmas Eve. But there's some extra parts that we need your help with. And you can pick whichever of these parts you want. Now, if anyone would like to be an animal, does anyone 
would like to be an animal? Any Anyone out there? Okay. If you want to be an animal, when you see the animals come on the screen, you need to make as many animal sounds as you can. Now, you can be any kind of animal. You can be a sheep. You could be a lion. You could be a dinosaur. You could be a snake. You could be, oh my gosh, yes, all of those animals, any animal you want to be. Can you make that animal sound when the animals come on? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Now, there's one other part that I need help with. There are going to be some angels. Would anyone like to be an angel? Yes, that's wonderful. Now, our angels in this play, they come on and they come to sing the good news that Jesus is born. But some of them forget their lines. So usually what the angels say is, Gloria in excelsis Deo. And the way we remember that, that's, a, that's, that's Latin. That's something that's very old. It's an old language. But the way we remember it is Gloria in eggshells is day old. Now, can you get ready to say that? Gloria in eggshells is day old. Because you're going to have to remind the angels, because I think they might forget what their line is supposed to be. So Gloria in eggshells is day old. Or the Latin, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Okay? Can you say one of those lines or be one of those animals? Yes. Now, with your help, I think the whole pageant is ready to come together. Now, let's sing our story song, which is Hallelujah. And we say Hallelujah because we're so glad to get to hear this wonderful story. Because in this story, on this day, God came into our world. God came to be with us by becoming one of us. And that's why we sing hallelujah. So will you sing with me? And when we sing, we put our hands together on the ya. Yeah. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ha la 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 Ha la 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 Ha la 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 Ha la 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 All right, I think we're ready. Are all of you players ready? Are all of my extra animals and angels ready? Okay, here we go. Here is the Christmas story. This year has been unlike any year of our lives before it. We miss you. We miss gathering at church with you, and we miss celebrating the birth of Jesus with you this Christmas season. But just because we can, uh, cannot all be together does not mean that we have to lose our traditions. The children of St. Chrysostom's are pleased to bring you this recording of our annual Christmas pageant. While we cannot all be together, you know that every one of us is wishing you and your family happiness, health, and good tidings this holiday season. And we want to say a special thanks to you and all our frontline essential workers who have done so much to help the rest of us. Now please sit back and enjoy our 2020 Christmas pageant. In a time when the earth was in need of savior, the angel Gabriel was sent by God in a town called Galilee called Nazareth to, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. 
Mary, awake and hear me. I bring tidings as to how he, to heal our world. Dr. Fauci, is that you? No, I mean, seriously, do I look like him? Fair point. It's hard to tell with a mask. Right, so like I was saying, do not be afraid. Mary, for you have found favor with God. Now you conceive a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom there will be no end. Go to Bethlehem and do your part to save us all. Sounds cool. Can I go to sleep again? Fine, but remember what I've told you this night. I had the weirdest dream last night. Did Dr. Fauci show up in your dreams too? No, that's what I thought at first, but it was way weirder than that. An angel came to me and told me that I was to have a son and that we need to go to Bethlehem to save the world. Mm -hmm. That checks out. Let's do it. Don't forget to pack the masks. In those days of decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be required to wear masks and quarantine upon arrival to a new place. So when Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they faced a new challenge, where to stay. and we need a place to stay so that she may give birth. Ah, sorry, but I can't let you in until you complete your quarantine. You can stay in the barn out back for two weeks if you like. Oh, come on. We just came from a few states away. I'm sure there would be no harm if you let us in to this indoor space with, with other people. Hey, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules here, but we have social distancing restrictions and there's no room for you here. We all have to do our part to protect others. And I have a funny feeling that your part is to be in the bond this night. It's okay, we must all sometimes make sacrifices so that the world can heal. We're all in this together. Here are all those animals! Man, oh man, we thought we had lost you. Come on, it's back to the fields with you. Sorry about this. Uh, we don't see many folks around here, and definitely not in the barn. We'll get these animals out of here and let you all be on this otherwise silent night. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around him, and they were terrified. But the angel spoke to them. Oh. What? what? That, that makes, makes no sense. sense. They mean well, but are still in training. They mean Gloria and Excelius Dea. Oh yeah, that still makes no sense. I don't speak Latin. Let me get to the point and bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Hey, I think we're going to go see it. Let's hurry back.
When the angels had left them, the shepherds went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made know what had been told them about the, this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what shepherds told them. And who exactly are you? We three kings of Orient are. Bearing gifts we travel afar. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, calling yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect night. That was wonderful, but who exactly are you? We are here to pay homage to your son born this day to save us all. If you really want to help, put on these. We come bearing gifts. Opening their treasure chests, the three kings offered Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is where our Christmas story ends. But before we go, please watch this message from the children of St. C's. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I miss the church. Um, but I'm very happy that we can still do the pageant, even if it's virtual. Mm. I'm thankful for the things in Dorad. I am thankful that everyone is still here, even if our meeting is still virtual. I think Christmas time, it's me, Gigi. I wanted to tell you Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a happy and healthy year ahead of you. Bye. Merry wow. Thank you so much, everyone, for that amazing Christmas pageant. I love hearing this amazing story of Jesus, especially at this time of year, when we are remembering that Jesus comes to be with us. Mm -hmm. And wait, did you, did you see that? Wait, who, who is that? <gasps> who, who, hey, who, who, who's, who's there? Who's there? Oh, oh my God. Hello, Mr. Will, my old friend. <laughs> Oh, is that St. Nicholas? I, I'm here. How are you? Well, I'm here. Yes. Oh my I, I God. Was just, I was I just watching this had... Christmas pageant on my phone and was just enthralled. It was distracting for the work that I'm doing tonight. Oh, you watched our Christmas pageant? Well, it was wonderful. I couldn't help but do it. It was just so captivating, but I had to stop because I'm very busy tonight. Yeah, I can't believe you had time to come and visit us. Well, you know, I always have time for you. As I said, we're old friends, so I'm happy to Oh, go. that's right. But I mean, tonight, this is just the busiest night. Now, you must be somewhere else around the world right now. I have been all over the place, and I have a lot to go yet. So oh, uh, I'm goodness. happy to pause here a minute for, for my friends uh, at St. Chrysostom's, uh, who are so precious to me. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Kids, I can't believe we get this chance to have St. Nicholas tonight with us on Christmas Eve. Oh, oh, St. Nicholas, do you have just a second to share your favorite part of the, of the Christmas story? Boy, uh, there's, there's a lot of different parts of the story that are very meaningful to me, but I think the most important thing for St. Nicholas is the understanding that, uh, that uh, God not only wanted to become uh, near us in Jesus, but also wanted to become one of us uh, in Jesus. And I think that is super important 
uh, and came as a baby. And as you might know, St. Nicholas loves young people, loves children, loves each one of you. Uh, and so uh, that demonstration of God's grace in our lives is so wonderful. And you all did such a good job uh, portraying that. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, when you heard this story as a kid, and then you grew up to be a bishop, you must have really loved this story. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why St. Nicholas wears this kind of a hat, because uh, he is a bishop. Uh, just like when your bishop, Jeff, comes to visit St. Chrysostom, he wears a hat just like this. And uh, St. Nicholas was a bishop, so he wears a hat like this as well. And sometimes the kind of hat that Mr. Will's wearing. Uh, in different types of festive occasions, but this is the official hat of St. Nicholas. It's called a mitre. Wow. Wow. Now, what made you want to do so much work giving gifts to children? This is so much for you to do every, every year. Well, I think St. Nicholas is motivated by love uh, and motivated by the love of Jesus, who gave himself as the greatest gift uh, to us. Uh, but also, um, St. Nicholas had a difficult childhood, and uh, didn't his mom and dad weren't around uh, a lot uh, because they had died early on in my life. And so uh, I wanted to almost be like a substitute parent for a lot of children that may not have had moms and dads around. And you know what, Mr. Will? It just kind of grew from there. <laughs> wow. And you're still doing it. How long have you been sending gifts to, to children on Christmas mm -hmm. Eve? Uh, well, uh, since about uh, the 300s, so this is about 1,700 years now doing this. 1,700 Christmases? <laughs> yes, it's a lot. Wow, just think yeah. how many presents that must have been. Yeah, it's a lot. I have, I have one hair in my beard for every year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well... You know, I'm so glad you're here. And if you have one more second, I would just love it if you would help lead us in our prayers tonight. Oh, I would love that. Oh, that's great. This is such a special night to pray. We've got so many beautiful lights around us. And we all know that we light our, our candles when we pray. And it, it, do you have a candle lit somewhere where you are, all you kids? Can you find a candle? That's great. If you have a candle, it would be a wonderful to light it so that we can all be connected. I've got my whole Advent wreath lit, even the candle in the middle, which is because it's soon going to be Christmas Day. Ah, oh, well, let's see. I think if we can sing a prayer song tonight, I think it would be Prince of Peace because it reminds me of Jesus. So I'm gonna sing to get us started. And if you all can repeat after me, and maybe St. Nicholas will sing too. I don't know if you're much of a singer, St. Nicholas. We'll see, we'll see. So repeat after me, okay? Here we go. You are holy. You are holy. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are worthy, you are worthy, worthy of praise, worthy of praise. I will follow, I will follow, I will listen, I will listen, I will love you, I will love you all of my days, all of my days. Oh, thank you, St. Nicholas. Thanks, everyone, for singing with me. I've got my bell here. Now, St. Nicholas, could you help lead us in some prayers today, things that you're thankful for or places where you think we might need God's help? Absolutely. would love to do that. So I think that one of the things that I would like to pray for tonight is a prayer of thanksgiving uh, for all of the children of the world, and especially for the children of Chicago and the children of St. Chrysostom's Church. Let's see. Let's say this all together. God, thank you for all the children of the world, especially the children of Chicago and the kids at St. Chris. God, thank you for all the children of the world, 
especially the children of Chicago and the kids at St. Chris. Is there anything else you're thankful for? Boy, you know, the other, uh, there is, Mr. Will, um, I would like to pray for everyone this Christmas who is alone and will not be able to spend time with family because of all the sickness that's going on right now. Mm. Let's see, let's, let's pray. God, please be with all the people who are alone this Christmas. God, please be with all the people who are alone this Christmas. Can we also pray, Mr. Will, for all of the children and the adults that don't have enough food? Oh, yes. God, please be with all the children and adults who do not have enough food. God, please be with all the children and adults who do not have enough food. I have two more, Mr. Will. Is that okay? Is yes. That I want to pray for uh, those people tonight, and St. Nicholas has seen several of them that don't have houses. Wow. I wonder. Wow. I wonder what it's like to not have a house. Hmm. God, please be with all the people in the world tonight who do not have houses. God. Please be with all the people in the world tonight who do not have houses. And the last thing I want to pray for, Mr. Will, tonight is that uh, God would fill all of us up uh, with joy uh, in what we heard at your Christmas pageant, that Jesus has come to the world to be with us and to be one of us, hmm. so that that joy might be uh, filling our filling our lives and our hearts today. Huh. It's almost like St. Nicholas that all the presents you bring are really just emblems of the joy of God, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Joy and, and they also reflect the gift that God has given us in his own son. Absolutely. Oh, man, how do we pray for that? Let's see. God, <laughs> thank you for the joy of your son, Jesus, coming into the world. God, thank you for the joy of your son, Jesus, coming into the world. Mm. Well, thank you, St. Nicholas. This has been so special to get to spend this special night with you. Thank you. Well, for it's been special for me too, Mr. Will. Oh, well, thank you so much for visiting us. I know you have to get going. You have so much more work to do. I do, I do, but I love to do it. It's not a, it's not a burden, it's a joy. Oh, well, thank you for sharing your joy with us tonight. Can we all say, kids, can we say thank you for St. Nicholas? God, thank you for St. Nicholas. God, thank you for St. Nicholas. And thank you. Okay, bye-bye. I know you have to run. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Wow, I can't believe that we got to see St. Nicholas on such an important night. Oh. And I have another surprise for you. Are you ready for it? It's my kitty. This is Scout who wanted to say hi and Merry Christmas to all of you. Now, I wonder if Scout's Probably not. He's not going to have the patience to sing this little light of mine, is he? Oh my gosh, where is he going? There he goes. But maybe you'll sing it with me. Will you have the patience for it? Scout's never very patient. Oh, I want to sing this little light of mine. And I want you to notice how many lights there are around you today. There are lights all in your Christmas tree, maybe the lights of your Advent wreath. This is a season to feel the light of God glimmering all around you. So as we sing our song and as you take out your light, notice all the lights around you. And maybe even you'll notice all the family members or loved ones who are there with you 
or who are in your heart, who keep the light of God present for you. So let's sing together. Here we go. This little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And I hope you see the light of Christmas. Tonight, I'm going to leave my lights on so that we can enjoy them with everyone in our hearts and all around us. Merry Christmas. <laughs>